Welcome to the video for assignment number two for the Harry School Discipline Back to Basics Comic Book Boot Camp. This is for the outdoor sketches, and I picked two examples to do. Now, my sketch videos are sped up here. I spent about five minutes on each picture, which left me with just under a 12 minute video after making sure everything was in place. But anyways, I sped it up because I didn't think you really wanted to sit. And listen to me try and talk for 12 minutes and sketch and anything else. But anyways, so looking at the first video here, doing the top outside scene, I thought it was a nice layout, good composition of the photo. And I started with the pathway because unlike the inside part or uh, from video number one doing the indoor scene, I wanted, again, to establish a reference point. So I used the pathway for that. And then you notice I drew the lines to the side to help establish the distance between the bench and the pathway. And you notice that after I get done rendering the bench, I've increased the size of the bench. So I redraw my lines to figure out where the edge of the path is. Then again, eyeballing it out, seeing how the top of the path lines up with the top of the bench and everything else. Then I go from there. Now, remember, this is a sketch. And so I'm not trying to make everything exactly right. I'm using my reference material as a starting point and trying to create a nice dynamic image from that. Now you notice I circled uh, the upper part of the bench and I also circled in the picture because I'm trying to uh, again have things line up you know so that I have that foreground, middle ground, background and I liked how the bench overlapped with the tree. So. Then I uh, start working in some more of the items in the background, the leaning tree and uh, the, uh, the, you know, the trees in the very, very far background come down. Now my sketch is nothing like the original picture. And that's okay because the point is, is to use that to get comfortable with drawing the environment, to learn to recognize all these different aspects. Now moving down to the second picture, I picked this uh, one because who doesn't enjoy a good kitty cat? Uh, but also because I, I really liked, again, the composition. It's It's got a similar layout to the picture above. Um, also the way the buildings, even though they aren't really, really sharp, you can still see their shape, you can still see where the lighting is, and you can see how they interact with this main focal point of the cat. So I, I started by drawing the cat getting its figure down and now I'm using that as my starting point and lining up everything else based off of how it intersects with the figure of the cat you know where now you know where do the cars line up and uh, it's nice because all these things play into other things we're going to cover later on in our series uh, for the boot camp such as implied lines and vanishing points and everything else And also, a couple things to keep in mind really quick. Keep all your sketches. Keep track of what you're doing so you can see what you've accomplished and you can see how you grow and where your weaknesses are. Because this is about self-assessment. Also, push yourself. You know, you're not doing a lot of details, but do those underdrawings. Draw in the shapes. You know, don't just try and get the lines and, and get the, the details of what you're doing. But really try and get the shape and the composition so that you get a feeling and a form to your picture. And keep going. This is going to be a fun month. Thanks for participating.